Hola, I'm Joanna, aka Paca, and today I'm gonna show you how I create my cross stitch patterns with the iPad on three different programs Procreate, Pixel Studio, and Stitch Fiddle. It all starts by messing around on Procreate, and when I have a drawing I think will look good as a pattern, I export it to PNG. Next, I need to transform this into pixel art, so I open up the Pixel Studio app and create a new file. I decide the size that I need my canvas to be by looking at the fabric I'm going to use and counting how many stitches I want the pattern to be. This way you can establish how big or small you want your project to be even before you have a pattern. I'm going to stitch this pattern as a rug, so I'm gonna stitch it on 5 count rug canvas. And the size I want it to be is going to be roughly 190 by 130 stitches. We will refer to pixels as stitches. I like Pixel Studio because it has a very neat feature that helps people who are not used to making pixel art. And that is the reference feature. When you choose a reference, it will appear behind your layers. And you'll be able to draw on top of it. I like to reduce the opacity of the reference by 50% to help me see what I'm drawing above it. Now I'm just gonna trace with pixels over my image. I recommend you still go and see a few tutorials on YouTube on how to make pixel art. So you know the basic concepts, especially how to make lines seem fluid in pixel and how to make nice corners without them looking jagged. Usually, I make the outlines first, fill in the shapes and finish off with shadow details or little stars here and there. A few Pixel Studio tools that I use are the Selection tool, the Bucket tool, Long Press, Saving Colors to your palette, and Cropping and Resizing the Canvas. Once I'm happy with my pixel art, I export it as a PNG and I make note of how many pixels I ended up with and save it. If you are not going to sell your design, you could skip the next steps and just use Pixel Studio to view your designs while stitching, but I still want to sell this one so I'm going to need it to be on a grid. So let's open up Stitch Fiddle and press Create New Chart cross stitch, DMC or anchor depending on what floss you like to use. I select other because I like my colors to be very similar to the yarn that I'm going to use. Right here I'm going to select exact size crop and write down the exact measurements Pixel Studio gave me. That was 190 by 227. I usually write down the exact number of covers I used in the pixel art so it's even more accurate. Check your chart for mistakes and here I can see that I missed a few pixels that Stitch Fiddle filled in with black so I'm going to edit the color chart and delete the black and replace it with the background color. If you are going to use the MC for example you can replace what color floss you want to use right here. 
There are other tools in this program that I don't use, so I'll let you explore that for yourself. When everything seems right to you, look for the download button under file. I download my patterns as PNG for no particular reason. I don't save it with a legend because I like to add my own on the next step in Procreate. I'm going to split this chart in six smaller pieces. Because I use very few and distinct colors, I choose to export as colors only without any symbols. And click apply. I then save all the charts to my files and jump back into Procreate. On Procreate, I create a simple page with the image of the whole design, a short info about the pattern and the cover chart for both tapestry if I'm going to stitch it as needlepoint, and stranded cotton if I plan on stitching it as cross stitch. On the other pages, I insert all of the other charts, and back in the gallery, I select them all and export them to PDF. You can also buy the pattern I'm going to be making on this video on Etsy, the link is in the description. And that's how I make my patterns. I bet you thought the process was a lot quicker. It may take a while, but it's a simple one to follow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, as that seems to help a lot, and subscribe if you'd like to see other videos from me. If you made it all the way to the end, I highly appreciate you, thank you so much. I'll see you in another video. Bye. Mama says she loved me more if I had a Mercedes. Clean it up a little more, drive around and look pretty. I just got enough for the tank on my grandma's car. White paint, oh baby, I can take you far.